Hello, welcome to vlog number dos. Um, how are you? How's it going? It is Wednesday, my dudes. I'm starting the vlog now because I have had a crazy week. I had absolutely zero energy to vlog or um, read in that manner actually. We actually had a very productive day. Um, I've tidied a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but I've tidied a little bit. It is 20 past 5 and I've just stopped work. And I'm gonna edit the uh, um, photo for today as well. But I'm also going to <laughs> sit down and play a little bit of Animal Crossing, I think. Yes. But I thought I'll start the vlog. Hello. I forgot that this weekend is the Easter weekend. And that means that I have a long weekend ahead of me. And I'm so excited that I haven't had that in ages. So I'm just fingers crossing that I don't have like a massive migraine which would be just my luck, so watch me have that. But I'm just really hoping, <laughs> like really, really hoping. But yeah, I'm just welcoming you to the new vlog. Welcome. I was watching Jade's vlog while I was cooking some curry. Now I have set curry and ran out of vlog, so I'm gonna watch something, I think. I don't know why it's so dark here. And hopefully I actually sit and read a little bit. So it is work all day in my pajamas day. <laughs> um, I didn't update you yesterday, I realized. It's just because I'm so tired, but hopefully I'm gonna, like... Didn't I say yesterday, watch me get a migraine? Because I did get a migraine at the end of the day, and today... I'm feeling a little bit better currently. I have read up to page 96 in The Heart So Fierce and Broken. It's literally picking up where it kind of left off. I think there's supposed to be, like, a couple of months difference in this. Uh, from where we left off, but it does remind you, thankfully, like, what happened in most cases, because I do not remember. Um, but yeah, I'm here, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's really nice. Like, I just love her writing. I think it's just a really good fit for me personally. I can see it not being for everyone. Um, but I'm very intrigued and happy, and there's a new character, and I'm actually... Usually, I'm pretty hesitant, because I hate getting to know new characters when I'm already in the series. Like, just let me enjoy the characters I already know. But I'm, I'm in, like, intrigued and enjoying her, so, all good there. And I did start, like, reading Harry Potter yesterday because that was supposed to be the plan. But after, like, two pages, dare I say, I wasn't feeling it. Um, it's not like I wasn't feeling it, but, like, I wanted to savor it for I'm really in the mood for it, you know? And I wanted to read something new that I don't know what happens next and it just kind of keeps me going a bit more. So that was the plan. And now I just had a, a call um, with a friend and I'm going to play some D&D in a little bit, so literally like 20 minutes. Um, and we have a long weekend ahead of us, so I have tomorrow off from work. Um, so obviously I decided to release the couple, um, sets of the bookmarks that I have, um, to create work for myself because that is what I do. Oh, and I actually, um, did some stuff on... Animal Crossing yesterday. I now have some path. Is it becoming a town? Definitely not yet. <laughs> but I do have a path. I'm less of a peasant. But I think the best part is that if anyone would come... Wait, maybe I can just hold it here. I mean, but yeah. <laughs> Welcome. So if you went to my island just now, which is a total mess, by the way, I did not like, um, yeah. Um, but this is one of the best things. It's the memes. It's the memes that I'm showing. There is like a, an actual museum right there. Like here, we have the actual museum. But when you visit G's Island, the, actu the, the real museum that you're supposed to think about is this. And you think that's it? Peekaboo! <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, it's just dumb, but... I just positioned it so it like, hey, Some cage. You know what, let me, let me get my jar where I can find it these days, right? Like, don't judge me. I don't know if that was like, with the music, but anyway. This is as much path as I have currently. <laughs> because I don't have time to play this, but also, I just realized, um, so see, 
this is me and I love this outfit right but if I am in my real form eh look at that whoops look at this I'm in my Hogwarts robes isn't that cool okay wait there's more <laughs> Um, I prefer this one because it has a little scarf. Do you see that? Isn't that the cutest? And then I also have the Hogwarts, uh, sorry, the Quidditch robes. And another one of the Gryffindor ones, but I don't like that one as much. And I also have this outfit that I do actually really like. I'm not looking forward to actually making like a thing out of it at some point. Not soon, but at some point. I don't even have the clothes shop yet. At some point. Friday, but I keep needing to remind myself that it's Friday because it's a, a good Friday, not a bad Friday, not to be confused <laughs> with a bad Friday. And it's a holiday here, so I don't have to work, which is nice. I'm also wearing makeup for the first time in what is probably a month now. Because <laughs> um, I've just filmed a little unboxing the, of the Hagrid's trunk, I really enjoyed it. And I also have the geek here, but I thought I'll just include it here. It's actually also pretty heavy. I think it might be my last one because I am canceling. I don't know if the next one's gonna come out. I need to check because... anyway. A lot of misses and I feel like whenever I film it, it's kind of like a bummer and I don't really like... I've stopped kind of enjoying it as much. There's still some items that are absolutely awesome, but I think there's just a lot of different choices between myself and what Geek Gear is as a company. So, um... I think I'm gonna be saying goodbye to this one at least for a while. I've had that same thing around the 2017, but then they got like really good again, so who knows? Ooh, okay, so far, <laughs> the first thing I really like, this t-shirt is awesome, okay. This is the first t-shirt in eons that I like from Geek Gear, I think, but I really like it, look. So we have, oh, all the forbidden courses. I actually really love it, it's very like, kind of gothic -y, and I really like that. Might be regretting my choices, maybe I won't want to subscribe, I don't know. <laughs> then we have another little, oh, let me just get it out, espresso glass. This has Polyjuice potion, I had one that was yellow, I think it was Liquid Luck, and another one for Amarantia potion, and this one's green. They are cute, I don't drink espresso, so I don't know what to use these for. Oh, we have another potion very heavy and it looks like this and it has a black seal it's actually pretty nice i like the bottle yeah okay why does it have to be a good box just when i have just when i finally decide to take a bunch okay there's a little box with a mirror on here oh no it fell out okay okay so i would need to like glue this back on but there is a mirror it just kind of falls out <laughs> um what is this though this is not the mirror of Erised, and I don't recognize it, it's boggling me. Let me check when we get to the card, but it's very ornate and it's very cool looking. It is pl like plasticky, but it is pretty nice. 
an ornament. I just don't recognize what it is. Oh, I'm gonna be mad at myself. Okay. Then we have pure totem locomotor. So I think we're gonna have a little figure. I like it. You could also just like paint it as well. So it's one of these figures. I think I would maybe paint it. So it would be, first of all, less shiny. And second of all, like kind of like stone color. Okay, then we have A2, which means a print. It is... Oh, it's all serious. Um, there's a little signature there. A print. Pretty cool. There's that next charm as well, and it's uh, of a snitch. Go. Exclusive replica of Hermione's mirror. Why am I blanking at this? What was Hermione's mirror? Or oh, the one that she used to like look for the basilisk in the second book maybe? Tell me if I'm wrong. It's pretty cool. I just need to glue it back on. I actually <laughs> like this box. That is ridiculous because the last one I really didn't like it like to the point where I felt uncomfortable and I didn't even post it. Not because I don't like posting like negative reviews but it was just like really putting me down so I just like I didn't do it. Jeez, Logan, look at this. He, he had his like, <laughs> like the way he sat. I have another thing to open that also arrived a couple of days ago, and that was Paper Gang Slither in the inside. So you have a little pop holder. It's very um, foresty. I actually like that quite a bit. Matches the color because the white is not actually white, it's like a cream. It says make your mark on this notepad. It's like an A6. It's not a notepad, sorry. It's a notebook. It's actually a planner. You have some prints in here as well, but this is how each couple of pages look like. Then you get your monthly card. Um, I got two actually. I think they were just kind of stuck together. <laughs> then this card. Oh, I actually get more cards. You have three cards. So this one says, hey you, with the... and another one with the birdie. It's actually pretty cute and the cards are very expensive so it's always good to have some on hand and then you have a little burger um, pin which I actually really like. It's a hard enamel golden pin. I really like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna go and do some reading because I really need to so um, I don't know if I've updated you. I think I have so maybe I'll just update you later not to repeat myself but gotta go clean and then wash my hands for the 15th time today. <laughs> having a really weird day so I was really happy and like really cheery and I was also productive and I was like I filmed the video I edited the video I posted the video did the comments well for a little bit and then <clears throat> did some owling which is what I'm just referring to all of the social media stuff and then I started getting really sad and really low and a bit anxious and all of those things and I'm having like a second kind of hard to breathe day um, which again sorry for those who heard it before <laughs> but I feel like I need to clarify because of the virus going on like it's uh, not that I've had this for almost a year and we don't know what it is but anyway unrelated it always makes me feel a bit shite so I try to not to focus on it you know so I was feeling kind of down and didn't really do that many, like, I, I haven't read at all yet. Um, but I was hosting some of the sprints for people. But um, I'm gonna do some soon. <laughs> I just wanted to... I went online for a Instagram live and I feel a bit better because you guys really cheer me up. It's just so fun. We just talked about our lives and reading and just catching up. But then also started talking about... Um, Hogwarts and favorite characters and least favorite characters and then talked about the wizard the try wizarding cup and just like the and just how like the movies they make sense with like the schools only having girls and boys and the school system in general not making sense because how are you gonna attend a school if you're magical from a country that doesn't really have a school but has a nearby school in different language <laughs> and then st then started talking about how people in the stands couldn't see the second and third tabs and like what were they doing with just like being like what's up to their neighbors chatting for a couple of hours because <laughs> it sounds like the most boring thing to have witnessed um and how Hermione probably just read her way through the whole thing um because she was bored so just had a little chat and it was really good and nice and now we are starting a two-hour sprint and I would love to just kind of sit and like start reading but I haven't taken the photo yet today, so I think I'm gonna take a quick photo. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna take a quick photo, I think, and then read because I haven't done that, so 
I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I took a photo. We have a Hagrid's hut thing going on and I'm gonna go and read a little bit later. Um, good day. Uh, we just started our second 24 hour readathon, but it's a particular hard day for me to sit at home just because it's so sunny and I'm just getting jealous from everyone posting their like garden photos and especially I saw this one on a swing that reminded me like of my summertime with my parents with a swing, you know, the one with like a little shade, but like um, obviously we're not gonna go anywhere, but we were joking with Logan like maybe we should go on the roof But our roof is not even flat. It's like a, you know, like an old Scottish one um, and The neighbors downstairs like keep like going onto their son next to their door and we can't do that It's so annoying. Even if it's like on asphalt like they are on the sun It's just that I'm getting so see-through that I can see everything like all the veins and everything and I actually have like a very little vitamin D thing. Sad, right? Very sad. Quarantine party. Let's go on the roof. Quarantine party. Let's, Quarantine let's party. do that Quarantine. hammock we said we're gonna do. We said we're gonna do a hammock from ours to there. But we didn't. No, <laughs> huh? we didn't. Yes, we did. No. We're gonna do it. Why not? Sure. <laughs> but why not? Tell me. A hundred reasons why not. We don't even have the windows that face the sun. It's always shade. There's a tiny bit of sun at some points, but... I'm just having the craving, but obviously I have self-control and I'm not a dummy, so I'm not gonna go. Anyway, we're gonna actually eat soon uh, some courgette pancakes, because we have a lot of courgettes, and so we need to make courgette pancakes. We do love them. Um, and then I think I'll start reading, but everyone started reading on Twitter, so I'll join in soon. I made myself another one of these, so I know how much time we have left. Plenty. <laughs> um, and I'm, be, I'm gonna be continuing with my book, which I'm really enjoying it. I'm on page 158, so I'm right here, and I'm really enjoying I'm so glad that I have the 24-hour readathon for this, because I don't know if I would do it if I had anything else, so very excited. I'm wearing this t-shirt as well. Mm. Special thanks to Logan who actually made the pancakes, but also AJ who sent me the dill, like the true friend that he is. We're trying to enjoy this. Oh pathetic little sunspot that we have because the whole rest of the room is in darkness but we have a tiny bit here I moved some furniture so you can enjoy hi oh, you gonna hey oh hello you wanna roll about in the sun so we're taking the sun the sunspot break hi hi he always goes shy when I Take the camera. It's so funny. Then I put it away and he's like, yes, roll about. taken a photo for the potion prompt but obviously 
I still made this so I can drink and I kind of sipped it throughout taking photos. It's just like a blueberry. Hello? Because <laughs> I'm also getting a little bit peckish, so it's a win-win. And I think we're going to go back into sprinting now because it's been like an hour of a break. So I'm currently on page 205 and still enjoying it. It's slowing it a little bit now, but I'm still very excited <laughs> to read on. Nothing major to discuss with you. We got to the point where it's basically like, you know, shit's bad. <laughs> Things are bad. No one's happy. So that's where I'm at now with this book. Um, hopefully it's gonna get a bit more fun soon, <laughs> but I am still enjoying it. So there's nothing bad happening, but I will need to swap to some other reads, I think, at some point, because I do, first of all, need to <laughs> move on with Harry Potter so I get more questions for the quizzes. Um, and in general I want to go into like the comics that I had set up because those are good for like these kind of events But I do kind of just want to continue with this now. So I think I will. <laughs> well, I just had a little cry Not because of the book. Oh, hi, Buffy. Come here so The cats play a lot. Well, not a lot, but they play with each other and we had them for like almost a years and Nothing like that ever happened before. They weren't fighting. But Momo and we cut his nails often. We cut both of their nails often. And Momo somehow managed to get his nail stuck in Zeus's eye. And Momo is known to be very bad at retracting his nail. He doesn't, he just panics and starts pulling. And I was sad here and they were here like playing and I noticed the thing and Zeus was just completely quiet. And Momo was pulling and it looked like it's like hooked on his eye. My heart just about went into like my heels. Um, I tried to like stand up like as slowly but as urgently as I could because I didn't want Momo to panic and tug even more but he managed to release it before I got to them. It wasn't his eye. I think it was his inner eyelid. You know how the cats have the other ones? I pa oh. I'm... <laughs> I got really scared. But he was so quiet as well. Like he didn't yelp so I know he's not in pain. Maybe it was just like, I assume it was just like a tiny bit of skin that got caught on, but I did not know that as even a thing that can happen. His eyes look fine as far as we can see, like it's literally just, it looks fine. But I will always obviously like pay very close attention to his eye and his, his behavior in general and we'll take him to the vet if we need to. But I found the nail that was sharp on Momo, literally was one sharp nail on him. Cut that, which he hates by the way. And Zeus seems okay now. Yeah, Zeus. I gave him some treats to see that he still has like appetite and he did. I checked if he still like is playful and he was, but he obviously is a bit acting a bit off like understandably. So I hope that he's fine by tomorrow, but I like when I saw that he's all like seems okay, I just started crying <laughs> like on bed. I just sobbed. I understand there's a tiny chance of that ever happening, but Oh, you saw a bird. Can you come over? Can you sit with me, please? I need I need your support, Momo. Zeus, I mean. Hi, buddy. Come here. Oh, yeah. Come here. He seems okay. I'm so stressed. This was... I was just reading. Like, how does this even happen? Are you comfy? You look like... And they they were playing, they were gentle. They're always very gentle when they play. They're like... I've seen like only a couple of scratches through the years. That's um, always by accident because one will yelp and the other one will like apologize and lick another one. Like they're very nice to one another. So I know it wasn't on purpose. As if, it, <laughs> as if they would understand purpose. But anyway, I'm gonna go and try to read more. Or just sit in bed is more likely. I need to calm down. My anxiety has peaked and has not subsided. <laughs> so it's half an hour later. I've, all, I've done some like Twitter stuff, but I've just been sat here petting Zeus and sometimes he will look at the birds and stuff and I'll see more of his eyes and they look fine. They really look fine. There's no swelling and there's no redness. There's nothing. I don't think... Well, one does look a little bit more like big, but that might just be me like looking at it for a bit too long. <laughs> Um, I think, well, I mean, he acts completely fine, so I think it's fine. I just, where the hell did that nail got stuck? Because it did. It wasn't just like a second. It was like, 
way too long for my liking. Oh, hi. But anyway, I've calmed down a little bit now. So I'm gonna continue reading, but this really threw me off. <laughs> really threw me off. My phone needs to charge, but there's literally zero chance of me moving and moving my cat off me. Like, my cat stays on me for forever now. I would be a terribly overprotective mother, I think. <laughs> oh, there's some, like, unlikely rom romance, no, unlikely friendship happening. And I really want to keep reading, but if I wait any longer... <laughs> Then it means that I would have to eat super late because it's already half past eight. So I'm thinking of unfortunately pausing because there's no need, like no sense in me, um, you know, getting an audiobook at this stage. 285 right here. So this little bit is, well, this bit, not that little, is what I have left. We have 17 hours and 20 minutes still left, so um, I definitely think I'll be able to finish this and then hopefully do like a comic book, but I think I want to go and make some bruschetta just now. I can show you how I make it, it's super easy. <laughs> I don't even know if it's like okay to even call it a bruschetta, it's probably a bit... Um, <laughs> simplified but um it's super easy we do it all the time and it's very garlicky so it's also good for you um i don't know how good for you it is because obviously it's bread based but let's say it's good for you so we need those cheese tomatoes got them right here some baguettes um, we usually actually buy the ones that are like half cooked, so they're kind of nicer, but <laughs> you can be picky these days. <laughs> and a crap ton of garlic plus some oil, and that's all you need. And what I do basically is um, I chop a lot of garlic <laughs> and then I mix it in with some oil and then I spread that mixture on to the cut baguettes and usually at that point I put it to in the oven for a little bit for that to like seep in but because these baguettes are already cooked I'm just gonna go straight into putting um, tomatoes then some rosemary or like basil if you have any I don't think I do so I might just skip that I might add the later <laughs> um, and then spread some well scoop and spread some of um ghost cheese and enjoy happy girl um, you definitely don't have to obviously go so garlic heavy and we don't always do them ourselves but today felt like a heavy garlic day and recommend having that sometimes uh, then we had some fun on Twitter with like polls and um, patronuses and quizzes and now I am sitting down we have our library thing going, like the ASMR, gonna be setting a setting, setting a setting? I think I maybe already mentioned, 285 pages in, and I'm legitimately excited to go back into it. So I'm gonna go and sit and read, and probably not go to bed until quite late, <laughs> because I also have some Instagram stuff to do. Um, I'm quite happy with today's photo, actually. Um, here it is, right here. Um, and I'm excited to see all of the map photos today because I do that like on, in kind of one big go. I didn't know until now how much I miss the sound of thunder because I grew up in a country where thunder is constantly during the summer and 
I miss it with like my soul. I don't know why. There is like not any other sound that I miss so much. It's ridiculous. So whenever I have that in the ASMR, I'm like, oh my god, home. It feels like home. Thunder feels like home. Maybe I'm Thor. <laughs> hey, it is 10 to 1 and we have 13 hours left of the readathon. I'm here. So really not far now from the end and things have really gone badly <laughs> like for a while now things just have gone badly but i am really enjoying it it's really um i feel like i've said it enough times now but i love the writing i think it's so great and things in here feel more important than just like usual ya kind of fantasy even though i know every time it's always like high stakes and like the world is on fire and whatnot but it feels more important here. It feels more personal. It feels like just good. I like it. Um, so I don't have that much left. I did um, the photo challenge and everything on Instagram, but it is quite late. So I'm going to just probably read another chapter and then um, go to bed. <laughs> Well, not the end, but like the resolution and everything. It definitely wasn't rushed, which is nice. Um, and then we get to my kryptonite, the epilogue. Well, it wasn't technically an epilogue, it was the last chapter. So this is the one that I'm like, <laughs> thinking the most about because I'm not sure if it entirely ruined it for me, which honestly is just the story of my life, if I can justify it. First of all, I had the trope that I really dislike in most cases like obviously every trope has its exceptions but in majority of cases it's one of my least favorite trope and i'm not gonna say which one it is but if you you might know it just seems to go against something that the person stands for in lots of ways but there's also trauma behind that so i understand that that plus all of the exhaustion would maybe make this possible but just so annoying but I, I know what we're supposed to be annoyed at this i know that but so annoying <laughs> i don't know i don't know i need to think but like for the majority of it though i really enjoyed it i really really enjoyed it i don't quite know if it's gonna be a, a five star though or if it's gonna be a four i think i'll have to like think on it a little bit longer but um i thoroughly enjoyed my time and that is me done with uh transfiguration so <laughs> I'm just so like I don't know what to think about the last one I think I need to to sit through like I know I can get to the place where I'm happy with it ish but when I just initially read it I was like no don't do this oh, I'm so done with it don't do it if you have read the book and you know what I'm talking about without spoiling everyone else obviously let me know how you feel about it in the comments I would like to know as well currently I'm not very happy but I know that I'm gonna hopefully find a way to it's just like it's always around that and i get it that's how people work but it's like he was ready to do something else to someone else he loves and had no issues with that but then he's putting everyone over this other person and it's just like why you do that why you be like that but then i understand that there's loads of difficulties involved as in like the other person that <laughs> enters the chat um obviously it has a different effect on this person so anyway that's me done with that and we still have like half an hour till i check in on twitter so i might start i might get something to eat because i haven't actually eaten anything yet um and i might get it's actually easter so happy easter if you celebrate it uh, my parents sent me photos of them sat off at the table saying hopefully next year is gonna be fuller <laughs> doesn't really focus but basically this is my mom <laughs> sat by the table alone oh i'm probably the least family oriented person in my family i love my parents obviously um but they are like extremely family oriented so um this is not easy for them so i might grab something else now what should i grab and i also need to fill in my bullet journal because i haven't done it in a couple of days I get to fill in another bottle because I finished an exam. Woo! But what else do we have? Well, obviously I have the Harry Potter to continue with and I do need to because questions. 
Um, but I think I want to start a comic book so I can actually maybe finish it before the 24-hour thingy stops. I kind of feel like reading Fence, so I might do that. This is for Charms. And that way, I would be halfway through my TBR, but actually a bit more because... Um, but I just don't know how long the shadows between us will take me because I don't know if it's good. <laughs> a little bit nervous. That's the one that worries me that I'm gonna be like stuck at. so far. I find it hilarious that my camera is currently held with cello tape, like the screen. Ah. Anyway, I have finished Fans and the readathon also finished. Well, not the readathon, but the mini readathon inside the readathon. And I actually marked a couple of things at the beginning because it was so bad. It's so dramatic and so over the top. But I have a weakness <laughs> for sports related kind of this comic style things. I think it's from my childhood when we had galactic football and it got cancelled and it hurt so much and it did get better i think the more i read it but at the beginning wow it's all about this guy that doesn't come from money and had all the hardships and is basically like a bastard son of this really famous fencer and he just has this agenda of like i don't know proving himself that he is gonna be amazing at fencing as well anyway <laughs> But at first he like arrives here and it says those shoes like look like they come from Goodwill. First of all, wow, why would that matter? But okay, weird thing to say. It's just like a, a bully. But then he replies, they're good enough to beat you. It even like, I'm not even exaggerating. It ha even has the you uh, like in bold. And then we have like some flashbacks to his childhood and him trying to like get into the fencing and you know obviously like the whole like thing. Um, and then he fences in this regional thing <laughs> and he fences against it's like a really famous amongst their age like he actually went into like proper competitions guy and um, he later on is obviously it's gonna be like the love interest <laughs> on the cover <laughs> but um this is like a coach and she's like oh he reminds me of someone literally from looking at him fans for like three whole seconds and she has his father in mind because we already know this is just at the beginning so i'm not spoiling but um she just like his fencing reminds me of someone uh and i'm like girl this guy you're telling me that this guy who has never even communicated with his father who was trained by a guy who has like just like above zero knowledge about fencing because we then also know that he was trained all wrong and this guy <laughs> he was trained by this guy and you're saying that his fencing technique reminds you of the the, the this like world renounced fence <laughs> like i understand it's supposed to be because it's like his son but what sort of movement, what sort of technique would these two have in common? Unless you're literally going like, there's no debate of nature versus nurture, it's all just nature. But it's just, it was just so funny to me, because it's like within three pages, everything just happens that everything is so dramatic. And then he loses, obviously, because this is a professional and he is trained for like 
what a year <laughs> i don't know but like just not trained properly then he like stands up and he's like don't walk away from me and i'm like dude the match is over like what what is he supposed to do stay <laughs> and then he's like listen to this you may be untouchable but i'm going to be the one who breaks through your guard i'm going to beat you <laughs> And you're going to know what it feels like to lose there in front of everyone. <laughs> what were you expecting? An empty hall? And it's not even like there's a lot of people. Look at <laughs> Sorry, but look at the stalls. <laughs> it's like five people. <laughs> Sorry, it's just funny. Um, and then other guy is so broody and like... And this is like just a very extreme reaction to what happened. But I understand that obviously he saved up a lot of money, which is obviously scars and stuff. But it's not that. It's just the uh, dramatics of it all. Like then he goes into the school and his all fancy, fancy school, but it's not like the fanciest. And he, and then that other guy is somehow there too, which he wasn't supposed to be. And they're put in to be a roommates and blah, blah, blah. And there's a tournament. And the whole comic is about a tryout for the team in the school. And um, I th <laughs> the thing is, I think it did go a bit better and it's kind of like lighthearted in places. Um, so you kind of want to... At first I was like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but it got less cringy. I don't know if I just habituated to it or not, but I do want to read the second one because I want to know who made it in the trials. <laughs> it's just so silly. Anyway. But that's my charms done. <laughs> okay, I started feeling really bad. Um, and I think my like weekly walk is due because I said that I don't go out daily, even though we can. Um, but I think I really need to get out of this space and just go for a walk alone and just... It looks like it's about to rain after like a couple of sunny days, so I'm hoping there's literally gonna be like no one there. So... Like Hello, it's Monday. I didn't really finish the vlog yesterday, so I think I'm just gonna carry it into the first half, well, into today. <laughs> um, because it's a bank holiday, I'm not actually working. And we had a very slow start, but I had a productive kind of afternoon, and my plan so far is to start packing the orders, update my bullet journal, and then I also need to edit this vlog and then post that. Um, I haven't read anything yesterday and I don't, like after I read everything. I don't think there's gonna be much of reading done today unless maybe the very end, but me and Logan are probably gonna go on live today, so that's gonna be fun. Though I do wanna do one thing, cause I'm gonna try and put that cat video thing for the cats on the TV here. And if they're not interested in that, I might just put Harry Potter in the background, if that's okay with you, Logan? Yeah, that's fine. I wanna, I wanna see if Momo would be entertained. You'd think that Zeus would be because he's way more of a hunter, but Momo actually likes the the YouTube cat videos more. Oh he did the thing. I wonder if it's just too close in the video. I've decided on so the sun is there you can see how dirty our TV is <laughs> decided on the last movie part one and two probably as I am going to start writing on the envelopes for the orders
stop here. I'm uh, like an hour, 10 minutes into the movie and personalize the envelopes. I really like to have a little bit of a, you know, a message from me on the envelope because obviously I don't have to do that, but I like it. I think it's a bit more personal. Hopefully I edit this and you can see this today, <laughs> but let me know how it's going down below. Chat to me and one another and thank you so much for watching. Um, oh! I want to thank um, the newest members of the Patreon family in the G's army and the Looney Mooney. So let me just... So these are the people who joined either the first, very first days on April or... Okay, so thank you so much to Dominique. If I butcher any of your names, I'm also very sorry. Um, then we have Ebba. Um, Estefania, Frida, and Nicole, who have all joined G's army. Thank you so, so, so much. And then we actually have so many members in the Looney, in the, the Looney Moonies, which is obviously named because y'all crazy. <laughs> crazy generous is what I mean. Um, so we have Gabriela, Haley, Joanne, Kristen, Luisa, and Sol. Thank you guys so much, each and every one of you. Um, your support honestly means so, 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 so much. I hope you guys enjoy the um, bookmarks that are going to be posted to you soon, the the shiny ones, the Patreon exclusive ones, and I hope you guys enjoyed the the buddy reads if you join into those and the space in general. The Moonies are the kindest of people, and we share our struggles and joys on Discord. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Anyway, thank you. It's always like you know. Not much else I can say apart from like, thank you. I hope you're well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay kind, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.